let's wrap up our series yeah. of kind of position look-aheads for the 2018 yeah. Texas high school football season. Uh, we've gone through each position group. We're probably not doing specialists. Sorry, punters and kickers. You jerk. I know. We're probably not going to uh, just because I don't know a ton about them. Uh, but let's take a look at defensive backs. And if there are stars on the defense, I think they're generally in the secondary. Yeah. Uh, it's either, to me, a rush end, be it like an outside linebacker or a defensive end, yeah. or it's in the secondary. Yep. And so there are, I think, a number of guys who you would cl- classify as you know, stars that are coming back uh, this year. Yep. Uh, from, you know, uh, for example, look, the, we, we've got um, Jalen Catalan from Mansfield Legacy mm-hmm. is coming back, right? He's one of the very best players in the state uh, and a guy that you already know, right? I don't have to tell you that. He, he's a two-time player of the year, basically. Yep. Uh, you, you already know about him. Uh, perhaps you, you even know uh, some of the other guys who, who are coming back in the, in the secondary. That's not who I'm interested in right. talking about here. Much like these other things, I want to talk about guys who maybe you haven't thought of whose names you don't know yet, but we think you may know as 2018 progresses into Texas high school football season. So let's start in Katy and not where you think. Oh, let's start at Katy Taylor. Whoa. Hey, okay. Okay. Katie Taylor, safety, Ben Montgomery. Uh, Part of this, I think, is due to the fact that he plays in Katie and like it or not, Arguably, the most consistent defensive force in the state resides in yeah. KD as well, yeah. right? If you don't play for them, you're already playing from behind to get noticed. Uh, but this is a safety 5'11", 200 pounds. I think last year he may have even gotten overshadowed by their own running back, Ian Beak. Uh, but new coach Chad Simmons really likes this kid, really likes what Ben Montgomery brings to the table at the safety position. Uh, and this is a Katie Taylor program that could be on the rise defensively, thanks in large part to the guy they're going to be anchoring back there at the safety spot in Ben Montgomery. Keep an eye on him in the KD area that, yeah, look, we're going to talk a lot about Katie's defense because Katie's defense is always really good. Well, keep an eye on the Mustangs because I think Katie Taylor may have something to do with it, uh, may have something to say, thanks in large part to Ben Montgomery. That's one guy to keep an eye on. Another one down the 5'8 level. Let's go to Austin. Let's go to the Maroons. Yeah, man. Old Austin, Austin High. high. Yeah. Austin High. Let's talk about Tevin Wooten, and this is a corner. Corners, I think, are harder to identify as great than safeties because I think you kind of only notice corners when they get beat. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, fair or not. Uh, but this is a guy who is a playmaker for the uh, for the, uh, for the the Maroons, Tevin Wooten. Um, 72 tackles and six interceptions last year. He returned two of those picks for touchdowns. Uh, this is an outstanding man-to-man guy. He doesn't need help over the top. Uh, he's got great ball skills. Uh, I know Coach Mike Rosenthal really likes what he has at the corner position, and in a lot of respects, if you have that guy, you can put him out there and say, cool, we can take away your best weapon, and then we'll kind of figure everything out. So I think Tevin Wooten could be a guy uh, on the rise this year, especially if the Maroons have a big year. You may be hearing more and more about uh, what Tevin Wooten brings to this team. Keep waiting for those Maroons to have a big year. Come on. I know. Let's go Maroons. But yes, I agree. Let's go south. Let's go to the Bearcats of Raymondville and talk about Jacob Poses. Um, This guy is a playmaker all over the field he led the team in tackles at the 146 last year uh but this is a guy that it's very clear comes up with the splash plays i mean this is a guy with nine tackles for loss as a safety Mm -hmm. he's a guy with three sacks as a safety forced two fumbles he blocked a kick he had an interception um this is a guy that you throw away from you game plan around uh, if you are Raymond, if you are playing Raymondville, uh, Jacob Poses had an outstanding uh, junior season. Coming back for a senior year could be a guy who could have that big breakout year. And when we're talking about 4A uh, high school football, especially in South Texas, here's a guy in Jacob Poses from from Raymondville that could be ready for that big leap and get onto that mainstream thing. And and again, it's one thing to have tackles, and I think it's another thing that a lot of people turn to safeties like Jacob to be. Splash players. Here's a splash player making an impact. He's making big plays that turn the that turn the tide of the game. Jacob poses from Raymondville is that uh, or know that name heading into 2018. 3A level. Let's go to Merkel. Merkel. The Badgers. The Badgers. Badger. 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 Uh, let's talk Jonah White. And Jonah White 
to call him a it's probably not fair to call him a, a, a defensive back because he's really does everything as you kind of do at the three level but this is a game changing player okay he's got the size 61 200 pounds this is a this is a d1 prospect this is a d1 prospect he had six interceptions defensively last year which is really good if that was all he did he could be playing quarterback for coach John Cornelius's Badgers this year last year he was fantastic they got him the ball in a variety of different ways he ran for four touchdowns he caught nine touchdowns uh, uh, receiving this is a guy they want to find a way to get involved in many different ways uh, he may end up being overshadowing himself because he's on the se- he's in the defensive side right a lot of ways going to do uh, from a big impact perspective is going to be on the offensive side maybe even as a quarterback. Uh, but Jonah White uh, from Merkel is a name to know and, and I think is certainly going to pop up on more and more recruiting boards yeah. out there. He's got the size, and if he has a very big senior year, all of a sudden we could be talking about you know the big country having a really, really interesting playmaker uh, out there for, for a, that could be a steal for one of these teams. And finally, let's go from the big country up to the panhandle, and let's go to Wellington, and let's talk about Seven Wilbur. I did not believe that this was his real name. Seven Wilbur. And guess how many interceptions he had last year? Twelve. Seven. Oh. Sometimes God just hands you this beautiful gift. Uh, Seven Wilbur is uh, an outstanding defensive back for the Wellington Skyrockets. And I think that in a lot of respects, he is a guy who gets overlooked because of who else is on his team. Sure. This is a loaded Wellington squad coming back. Uh, Trevor Roberson, their big tackle. Uh, They've got a a great running back whose name is slipping my mind right now. Uh, But a lot of big-time playmakers. Uh, In a lot of respects, he could be the third or fourth most prominent player on his own team at the two-way level, which is insane. Right. But Seven Wilbur is a guy to keep an eye on. He, he makes big plays. Seven interceptions speaks for itself. But that's a name to know at the uh, up there in the panhandle and in the two A level is Seven Wilbur because this is a guy who who is on the defensive side making plays for this Wellington squad. Uh, those are five defensive backs you need to know heading into the 2018 Texas high school football season. Don't be surprised if one or two of them become relative household names. I'm kind of sad that series is over. These, this is I've learned a lot about a lot of guys around the state I didn't know about. 